Hi everybody, thank you for joining me today. Today I am bringing you my miniature note favour. Um, I think this is ideal for um, a wedding or a party or even for Christmas. Um, it is a um, simple note card here that you could add uh, wedding details on, party details, thank yous, whatever you wanted. And then inside this little box is just a miniature bottle of alcohol. Of course, um, if you wanted to make them for children, you could add sweeties or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it'd be ideal for any kind of party or gift, I think. Um, and it's really cute. So let's show you how to make it. So to start off with, you need a piece of card that is nine by seven and a half inches. That's 24 and a half by 20 centimeters. On the long side, you want to score at quarter of an inch, one and a half, two and three quarters, four and five and a quarter. Um, then, if you want your box on the right hand side, uh, which I appreciate some uh, left handed people would prefer that, then you need to put your thin score line, uh, your horizontal thin quarter inch one centimetre at the top which I've just realised I didn't give you those in centimetres do that in a second so uh, left handed uh, right sided box score line at the top um, left handed box thin score line across the bottom sorry yes yeah. so long side is quarter one and a half two and three quarters four and five and a quarter and in centimetres that is one four and a half eight eleven and a half and sixteen um, so yes, I want my score line at the bottom because I want my box to be on the left hand side and I'm going to score at um, one and a quarter, five and three quarters and seven and in centimetres that will be three and a half, fifteen and eighteen and a half. When you um, fold and burnish your score lines you can do them all by this last one here that's closest to your large panel leave that one because that actually is just there as a guide for folding your box up so fold and burnish all the other ones this little one here can be a little bit fiddly and then these other ones here okay so once you've done all that, we can then do some cutting. So to start off with then, at the bottom, which is the piece with just the single row of squares, we're going to get rid of that little tab there, that little tiny bit, cut up each one here, including the one that we didn't fold. And then you get rid of this long section here, like so. So you should just have this now. So you've got four pieces here and the little tab cut away. And then we're going to rotate and at the top. So the same again here. We're going to cut down there and across. So we're getting rid of the long section. Obviously just leaving that single panel for your note. And then the top sections, we get rid of this skinny bit here. And just a little trim then cut down each one of these sections down to the second horizontal score line and then if you want to work out your where you want your lid to fasten so if you want like mine for it to close at the back then you keep this panel here and if you want it to close at the front to bring this one over, then you keep this one. OK, it's entirely your choice. I want to keep this one. So I'm going to take a very, very thin slither off these sides here. And it is just a thin slither. And then I want to get rid of this one here. Because I don't need that one. And then these ones... I'm going to take half there and wedges off neatly because they will be the shoulders as I call them. And then that one, take those off. So you'll be left with 
this shape. Let's get rid of that rubbish. Okay, if you're um, if you're uh, left-handed, it will be this way. Okay, so you can see how the two work. Okay, so once we've done that, we are then going to add our adhesive. Uh, uh, sorry, our DSP. So I have three strips here. So again, if you think this is going to be the back, so you don't need one there. So from the thin strip here, it's the three from there. Um, I'm just going to use my seal. Um, I quite liked that when I did this one, and it wasn't intentional, my pattern of my DSP remained, and I really liked that. So I've tried to keep that here. So let's just see. So that's that piece there. So no, it isn't going to work this time. Never mind. Okay, so we can keep the boxes the same though. So I'm just going to run this. And I've kept the same DSP but used a different card, um, card colour, just to see how, um, how different it would look really. Get rid of that bit of adhesive there because I don't want that sticking all over my project. Oops. So pop that on to those and then flip it over and then oh, I didn't even tell you the sizes did I? So you need three pieces here that are one inch by four and a quarter or eleven by three uh, centimeters and then this piece is three and a half by four and a quarter or eleven by nine. I'm just going to stick that one on there and then your basic white panel here will be four by three and a quarter or ten and a half by eight and a half but of course that um, will be done in a second because I need to stamp on it first. So add some adhesive onto this thin strip here and I did find it easier to use the wet glue simply because it is just such a thin strip. And then fold it over. Now if you can, fold it under because all of our pieces are the same without getting glue all over you. And you should, famous last words, be able to press it down like so. So it's tucked under and I'm just going to use my bone folder there to um, enhance this score line and to make that adhesive stick and then just push it back the other way and it will pop up and bring you your box um, make your um, close your top up first so I'm just going to pop and this is where it um, matters how much you take off here because if you take too much off this lid won't stay in so I'm just going to pop that in there and then I'm actually going to pop my alcohol in now upside down because that will assist me with the base. And then it's the same as we always do. So again, I'm going to use a little bit of wet glue here. So side, side, base, and then the lid. Probably needed to trim that a little bit tidier, but it's okay. And then turn it back round and you can use the weight of the alcohol there to hold that base in place. And that's pretty much your box made. You just need to decorate your basic white. So I have the Happiness Abounds. Um, I've used So Saffron, so I'm going to go with So Saffron, although I am aware it's quite pale. But um, wishing you all the happiness. I think that's that one. So Sentiment in the centre there and then I'm going to use um, that little bouquet of flowers there in that top corner. Again you can add colour or images or whatever you want to use and then this little flower here just at the bottom like so and then once you've done that 
all I did then was adhere this to my um, over my DSP just on here like so and then of course I have to have my bling so I've stepped away from the iridescent rhinestones and just stuck with some basic and just added them to the centre of those two flowers there and I don't know if I went a bit overboard <laughs> when I did the other one so I might just stick with three on this one and see how that looks because yeah I, I stuck quite a few on that one <laughs> but there they are my miniature note favour hope you like them hope it gives you some inspiration and I hope you like to try them yourself thank you for joining me and I'll see you all soon